Welcome to another episode of the Hip Hop Uncensored Podcast. I'm your brother, O Guy, from Hip Hop News Uncensored. And sitting across from me is my co host. What up, what up, y'all? It's your man, Sam, and CEO of Viral Hip Hop News. You're in the building for another edition of the Hip Hop Uncensored Podcast. Oh, God, what's good, my brother? What up, man? We in the building. Yeah. Another episode of the Hip Hop Uncensored Podcast is about to begin. You are now rocking with the best. Let me give you the lineup for today. It's going to be another explosive show to say, the least. All right, so the Met Gala went down yesterday in New York City, and a lot of weirdos came out <laughs> with a lot of weirdo outfits. We're going to talk about that a little bit and talk about Boosie, you know, saying that this event should just be for women. We'll give our opinion on that. Also, yesterday, I think we got a good conversation started when we were talking about, you know, how blacks don't run hip hop. And I came up with a title today that would suggest that blacks are guests in hip hop. Mm. Blacks are guests in hip hop. Also, we're going to talk about comedians that fell off, mm. Henry Ruggs, and something that Vic Mentor said that I want to talk about. Let's start with this Met Gala thing, though, man, because, um, you know, Boosie, he's coming out and saying that this should just be for women. And um, I think I know why he's saying it. But what's your thoughts on it? Well, before he said that, and obviously we've been seeing Met Gala footage and, and pictures and shit for years, right? right? I don't really know what it's about. I don't really know what it's hitting for. I know you got to get a special invite and all this stuff. And I know people dress up as weird as they possibly can and go into this event and do what? I don't know. Um, and I'm not the most fashionable in the world. I, 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 I'm more chill than I am fashionable. So I'm not the one that's an expert in fashion. Maybe they look absolutely incredible when it comes to the fashion. But the sit look kind of sissy-ish, if you ask me sometimes, when it comes to the men involved in it. Because I feel like some of the men, not all of them, because we've mm -hmm. seen some brothers that were dressed not, dressed down and, and did what they had to do. But they go out of their way to overly look feminine, let's just keep it what it is, in some of these events. And they want to be filmed looking ultra feminine. Now, you wear what you want. I'm not sitting back saying you can't wear this or wear that. But I feel like sometimes with this Met Gala, I don't know what the overall objective and goal is to go out of their way to make themselves look like some kind of creature. <laughs> or whatever the case may be, but I would love to see it to just be just women, and that's not to be over sexualizing anything. Just enjoy the beauty and the glamour, and I think that I would probably understand and appreciate it a lot more if, in fact, it was something geared toward that. Like you just had the men on their shoulder wearing solid black tux, and they just highlighted the women. All right, I'm cool, but when I see women and men dressed exactly the same and dresses and yarmulkes, and I just don't understand. It. Yeah, it looks like the men are trying to outdo the women. Mm. You know what I mean? On some weirdo type shit. You know, and it's almost like who can wear the most crazy outlandish thing to get people talking about it, to get blogs and people and writers to write about it. And we've seen that. We've seen um Lil Nas, you know, he came out with the um the all I don't know what he was, like some last yeah, some Roman shit. I don't know what it was, but I agree, man. But hey, you know that ain't gonna happen. You know, you got dudes out there that you know, as they call it, the metrosexual. I don't know if that's the I don't know if that's the term no more, but you know, they in the fashion. You know what I mean? And you know, they got guys wearing purses and skirts and different things like that. If you say something against that, then oh, you know, oh, you know, you ain't with the times now. You old school. You ancient. Guys can wear this. Who 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 is to say that girls can only wear skirts and blouses? And we even seen that. So it's like guys wearing blouses now. Well, it looks like women blouses. So. This world is just a different world than I grew up in and you grew up in. And I'm not going to embrace this shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I say yarmulkes and I apologize. That's, that's what the, the Jewish religion wears, right? For their. I think. For their, if it I is, my bad. Because I ain't mean to offend nobody with that, with that statement. Woo! I just want to talk about it. You don't want them boys on you, man. That, uh, not, <laughs> not by accident. Nah, now, I when I say mean. some shit just to, to joke, <laughs> and I ain't, I ain't understand what I said. That's my fault. But, um. <laughs> now, nah, these, uh. It's it's some weird shit going on. It, it really is, and I know that Jonathan Majors got his uh his invitation revoked from the Met Gala. Oh, really? Yes, and he was upset about that. So I don't know what kind of I don't know what goes on there. It seems like one big ass Illuminati meeting to me, and they go in there and do that. So thing. Cardi B was there, wasn't she? Always. But th oh, that's weird to me. Uh oh. What you I, ain't, well, I ain't trying to go there. <laughs> but it's like, what, what did she she admit it? What did she admit on camera? Yeah, we we saw it. She admitted on camera. Though it was in the past, she admitted something very vile, something very crazy on camera. Not even not too long ago, you know, it was kind of a hot story. Maybe a year or two ago, she's allowed there. Yeah, this dude has just been—it's just accusation at this point. He hasn't been charged, right. and respectably, she hasn't either. Right. She admitted that she did it, mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Jonathan Majors just denying it. Double standard there? I would say so. A little bit. And it's all in who you like or what the objective is or how the media spins it, pretty much. Pretty much. If the media don't spin it in a way that makes them look crazy and they throw it under the rug, so does everybody else. Yep. We're in a copycat world and a copycat society. But to transition real quick, I want to talk about this because we talked about, well, I just alluded to like the, the weird Illuminati type S meet, right? And Uh-oh. our man Isaiah Washington, we've interviewed him before. Shout out to him. He went in today on some things that are going in Hollywood. Now, I know you've seen Matthew Lawrence, the dude that played in uh, Miss Doubtfire back in the day and shit. He said some things uh-huh. about Hollywood. And then Isaiah Washington said this. He said, I'm wondering if I posted about the actor Sam Rockwell being drunk and flicking my dick in a bar when I told him to apologize before I kicked his ass and told the producers, the Russo brothers, that I was going to handle him. He finally apologized and bought me a bottle of scotch. Two nights later, actor George Clooney walks up to me in the same bar and says, I hear you don't like to get your dick flipped and does the same exact thing knowing I couldn't knock him out. Will the mainstream media write about these allegations in a tweet? Nope. No cease and desist and just crickets. What they need to do is leave me the hell alone before I really start talking. Oh. I'll wonder. Now, now is that a tweet from Mitchell account? Because hopefully I don't want people coming out and say, oh, that was a robot that did it or he got hacked. <laughs> that was his real account. No, no, no doubt. I'll text him to confirm that shit. That was his real account. <laughs> right. But what, what do you think about that? We've heard these rumors and things about Hollywood. Now we're seeing more men come out and talk against some of the things that they have to experience as far as that weird type sexual behavior when it comes to Hollywood. So do you think there's a correlation when we see things like the Met Gala? I'm not going to associate the Met Gala. Right. But it's with things like that and what we hear in Hollywood, do you think it all is true, man? Yeah, I do. And, and I'm, I'm against any type of predatory sex behavior, sexual behavior, whether it's a uh, you know, guy going after a woman does not want it or a man going after a man does not want it. I'm against all of that. All of it to me is that, you know, essay in my opinion if you go up to a woman smacking her in the booty or if a dude is terry crew and you're grabbing your nutsack mm. you know what i mean um i don't know what guy's gonna stand around there not do anything but i get it maybe you know it's an atmosphere where he's just not and i'm not even saying you being emotional that's right, a natural right. reaction right you grab my shit i'm swinging on you exactly you know what i mean especially if if, if you're a guy that's right. just like come on we don't we don't play like that a woman it's a little different i'm not gonna so i'm not gonna be like busting rhymes you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? But <laughs> yeah, so that that's just. But for years before we were born, it's been allegations coming out of Hollywood like this, you know. And um, I, I just think honestly, man, a lot of people say, right, that the whole H thing, a lot of it is predatorial, mm. and I've heard that. You know what I mean? Men on men, women on women. A lot of it is like kind of grooming people. And going after people that's not really into it, but trying to kind of turn them out. I hear that a lot. I know you hear it too. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So I don't know if this is something that has to do with that, but I believe him 100%. I don't see why he would make this up, man, at all. I think you brought up Terry Crews, and I think a lot of the reason why we clown Terry Crews is because a man's natural reaction is to knock that dude 10 yards through the fucking air pick him up and knock him 50 yards in the air forever trying to violate you as a man in front of your wife. And the fact that he almost allowed it to go down and we don't know the circumstances, what type of money was involved with that nut grab or whatever the case may be, but it's like, okay, X all that. You can't do that. And how many people are allowing this to go down simply to hold a career and keep a career? You a, know, lot. Yeah. a lot of people, you know what I mean? They just attribute it to acting. And I believe that some actors really can find a role and go into places that they don't typically go into in a normal human life. But I also believe that there's a little bit of an agenda to that too, where they specifically want you to do certain things in order to gain more success. And I think that it's more than color at this point. You've seen more than just black people, more than just Hispanic people come out and say these things. I just think that the punishment may be a little harsher for us oh, when yeah. it comes to the ramifications of us not doing it. Yep. This is why we see a lot more of our brothers wearing dresses than we see the white counterparts. Not to say that they don't do it, because they do. Yeah. But it seems like it's a lot more when it comes to the rise of superstardom with our counterparts. We've seen um our man Miguel Nunez talk about doing Joanna Man 2. Oh, yeah. Who the fuck wants to see that? <laughs> Didn't want to see Joanna Man 1. Why can't we see a pretty Ricky Fontaine part 2 or some shit? Why we got to see Joanna Man 2? So I, I don't know, man. I think it's something to that. <laughs> Obviously, they give a nice bag for men to emasculate themselves. And uh, 
It's something to it. Something hey, remember, to it. I remember I was telling I was watching Ladybugs the other day. Yeah. And I remember when we was little, it came out like 92. We used to watch this all the time. All the time. Back then, I, I didn't really, we didn't really think about the ramifications of that. They put that little boy in a dress. Yep. Back then, now I seen the other day, I'm like, yo, why the hell is this little boy in a dress? Mm-hmm. And it may be comedy, it may be funny, I understand that. But it's like, it gotta be something behind it. And like you said, it's not just race specific, you know what I mean? But for us, it seems like, and, and you know, as much black actors as I can name that wore a dress, you could probably give me the same amount that didn't. Because yep. there's so many black actors, I get it. But it's just like, when you got, we did a lot of interviews with actors, and we probably asked maybe 20 or 30 of them, I'll say 10 or 15 to be to be real and to be modest about the dress thing. We should probably could put something together on that. Yeah, you probably, probably more like 20 to 30. Maybe, yeah, if you really go back. And yeah. it's like, we asked them about it, and we got all different answers about that whole different, you know, spectrum. So it's crazy, man. And, um, you know, I just don't see why that would have to be a part of, you know, your catalog putting the dress on there's so much other things that could be funny that can make people laugh by in my opinion emasculating you putting you in a dress because that's what i think it is yeah. i think it emasculates you even further you know to put a black man in a dress especially because all the, it's like the image image is so important man yeah. we, we, don't, we don't realize how important the image is not only in our community but how we perceive by other people right and if we keep saying you know every black male getting destroyed in the media by different allegations, wearing dresses. It's almost like you ain't no man no more. Right. It's like they, they promote you to be a sissy mm. or, or a clown or a comedian, as we see. Mm-hmm. Those are the people that seem to ascend more, the people that are clowners, the comedian guys, the guys that want to wear wigs, the guys that want to wear dresses. It just seems like that. And it seems like that real black masculinity, masculinity is not really promoted like that. That's what it seems like. 100 percent facts and the thing is crazy is like nobody's questioning what you want to do with yourself sexually behind closed doors absolutely it's a predatorial element involved in this that they're trying to turn out heterosexual men that clearly want to just deal with women don't have nothing against what you want to do mm-hmm. but you want to turn out heterosexual people that's the weird predatorial piece that i just don't understand if you want to go if you hollywood and you happen to be homosexual and you want to sleep with other homosexual people that follow that lifestyle do you right but you got people that don't even deal with that just because you got some weird sexual fantasy about the thing you're going to try to turn them out and use your power to as a piece to influence that and take away something out of their pocket it's 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 sick yeah but it's reality yeah no different than a guy it is kind of different though than a guy i would say what do you, mean? you know what I mean? When you're talking about like the H word, yeah, you know what I mean? Trying to turn a guy out yeah. as opposed to a, a, a man trying to get at a woman. I think it's a little bit different. Yeah, it is. Because, you know, you make babies and stuff with women. Men and women make babies. Right. That's just the way it is. The other thing is just like, whoa. Like you're trying to turn somebody out to a totally different way of life. And it's like, that's it's, it happens in a bedroom. Keep it in the bedroom. Yeah. We didn't got to know about it. Do what you do in the bedroom. Keep behind closed door. You want to do what you think? I don't have no hate, no bias against you. And when you start trying to force on other people or turn this person out, turn this person out with it, to me, it comes to a point where it's like, okay, this is getting scary. Oh, God, what would the conversation be like if us as two heterosexual men seen two homosexual females that we were attracted to and said, you know what? We're going to fuck y'all straight again. What would the conversation be like if we as heterosexual men said we were going to turn right. Homosexuals back into heterosexuals. Right. They would fry us. Yeah. At the state. But this happens all the time in Hollywood on the opposite end. But this is what's being promoted. This is what's being highlighted. This is what be, is, is being pushed into the forefront for whatever reason. Because I don't know why sexuality is being pushed toward any forefront. That's a private situation between you and that person. Spooky, bro. Yeah. And you got to be able to have these conversations, I think. And not be scared of these type of conversations, man. And um, you just got to be able to have them as men. Period. And women. Yeah. 